in this video, I asked you, the viewers, to submit animations. My friends, Teleprete and Juni, will be sitting down with me and we'll be discussing animation fundamentals and judging the clips that have been sent to us. I'm looking forward to this. All right, so this is uh, Susu Awu. Yeah. You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Yes. Whoa, what the? Oh, wait, wait, let's go. Oh, this yeah. shrimp is actually, yes. A yes. actually frying this rice. <laughs> That's crazy! Oh, Look at him go, oh, dude! Yes. Yeah! 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 Fry that rice! Yeah, look at those particles! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude! Yes! <laughs> Breathe it in, buddy! Fat for that! Perfect, dude. Oh my lord! <laughs> wow! No, 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 no. Oh no! <laughs> He's dying for his craft. <laughs> He's looking no at his way. shrimp kids. <laughs> this is shrimpalina oh, and Billy. And Billy. I must Daddy do this. won't make it home tonight. <laughs> Bro, don't do it. Think of your kids. Think of your family. No, no bro. <laughs> What am I watching? Oh <laughs> my god, no! No! Not yeah, everybody, yeah. Oh dude. no, oh. dude. Oh. I need that. <laughs> George Bush? No, it's Charlie George Sheen. Bush. <laughs> Honestly. It's perfect. It doesn't need to change. Nothing needs to be changed. Yeah, no, I have Please, no Please, just make more. <laughs> make more. Yeah, just keep making it. <laughs> I love silly shit like this. This, this is great. Make. This is great. Okay, next up, we have Hey Stay Awesome. Uh, and they're just Hey Stay Awesome, and they're Hey Stay Awesome on Twitch. Okay, let's check it out. We got another animatic. Hell yeah. Whoa! That's cool. Cool pose. You are quite a worthy adversary. Ooh. Not one for friendly You got banter, Tally's attention. We? Well, that's fine by Yeah, I love Bearded Man. <laughs> <laughs> PvP. Nice. What was once only possible in video games is now the biggest form of sports entertainment. Logo. Yo. Okay, so it's a little like a, like preview, like animatic preview uh, to the yeah. like, series they want to make. Okay, I mean, my first immediate thought, um, and this is just like a uh, like a storyboarding thing. So when when it comes to like actually like planning out like a, a like a combat scene, one of the the most important things you need to remember. So there's 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 you've got a bunch of different shots. You got your uh, your your horizontals verticals and your diagonals, right? So the low intensity is like a horizontal shot, right? And then you've got your your building intensity, which is your 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 vertical shot, right? And these are generally like, oh, like a, a panning shot up towards a character's head or like, you know, that kind of shit. Or like a distant shot where the characters are like, you know, staring each other down, like, and then so it's like low intensity, medium intensity, and then our highest intensity, which is the, you know, a diagonal shot, like, oh, here's a character, ah, I'm running at you, you know? And, but the thing is that when you do that, you wanna have, um, um, so you have two diagonal shots. They basically are like, like coming at each other. You can kind of have like, the, when you change from one diagonal shot to the other, it's like <laughs> separate diagonals, right? So you'll see that a lot in like action stuff. Like if two characters are running towards each other or there's a punch being thrown or stuff, those shots, the composition is like, it's very much diagonal versus opposite diagonal, right? So if you keep that in mind, the storyboarding will be like a lot, uh, that, that visual language, it'll be a lot uh, more um, obvious as to like what you're trying to Im imply with the uh, intensity and such. Uh, a really good example in the class that I took, have you ever seen the movie Looper? In the film, the film has uh, people from the future get sent back in time and then assassinated by uh, an assassin that lives in the past who's from the future, or maybe it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, Bruce Willis gets sent back in time to be assassinated, like in, in a cornfield, 
and his it turns out his younger self is the one that's actually going to kill him. So it causes a big you know time loop bullshit. So at the start of the mm-hmm. movie, Bruce Willis gets sent back in time, and as he's going to shoot him, he quickly jumps out of the um, the restraints and punches him in the head. And it's this awesome display, cool diagonal shots, and you're like, wow, that was really intense and cool, right? But later mm-hmm. in the movie. He time travels again and goes back in time and watches the same thing from really far away. And it's a really distant horizontal shot. And that cool action sequence looks super fucking dumb because it's like portrayed as like this like, oh, yeah. And it just looks hilarious, but it's the same Mm -hmm. sequence of movements. So by portraying this exact same thing two completely different ways, you have a completely different um, result. You have comedy versus, you know, action. So it's all about how you use your shots. Something that is also really helpful for action sequences, Mm -hmm. uh, especially in like storyboarding, is to have a focal point uh, that is relatively consistent across shots. Is if I had like a person, right? And they like had an ax and they're like, ah, yeah, I'm gonna throw it. So right now my eye is looking right here and when he throws it, the axe is going to be like right here and it's going to be like spinning around. So now my focus is around this area. So by the time that I cut the shot to a new thing, like I'm, I want the person that I'm throwing it at to be like standing right here. So by the time that like it switches over, I'm like already looking at mm. what I'm supposed to be looking at. And then I can have the unexpectedness of the axe come in and be like into the into the yeah. yeah into the wall next to them, and they're like, oh my god! So we are on water surf. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Our first. Yo, this is bringing you our back. Our first this sick man of back. the day. Now I'm curious. Oh, let's what, go. Do we, do we think this is what was that? This program? is made of pivot, wasn't it? This pivot. It's. I can be, tell right? it's made of pivot already. Be, yeah, I see it. I see the. We all see the pixels. Like, you know? So many amazing art animators started in pivot. Like you'd be shocked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, me too. This that was amazing. indeed might be pivot. cinema. <laughs> that this was might be cinema. That dude. was indeed pivot. So pivot is a uh, an animation tool that you can use to make like stickman things. You have little like basically 2D little stickman models and you can move them around and stuff. Obviously, like I think that this is like a really good thing to do, like to play around with these programs, because it's like, you know, it's 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 a great way to practice your animation fundamentals. You can like practice your spacing and timing and stuff with like very simple like software like that. Um, what do you guys think? I really, really that that really reminded me of like the animations that I started out with in 2010. Like that brought me way back. I, I like had the little moment in Ratatouille where he like has a taste of the food and he's just like brought back to a child. Yeah, that, yeah. that was me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the walk cycle, uh, you generally want to keep the keys in mind. So there are two mm-hmm. keys. You have the key where the, the legs are extended and then you have the key where the legs are crossing like this. And the head goes up when they're crossing because the leg is straight here and the arms are also crossing at the same time. These are the only two keys you have to worry about in, uh, in walking. And it's basically just a case of getting this leg to the center here mm-hmm. and then getting this leg over here and this leg to the back so that you'll have that just sort of looping walk. Other than that, it's like kudos for the creativity. I love it. It's yeah, great. Definitely like keep playing around with that. I think that uh, Pivot is yeah. an amazing tool for people who just want to like dip their toes into animation and see like if they enjoy it. Cause it's like low stakes, easy to use. Like de- definitely try it out if you're curious, you know, you're you young artist at home, just get it. I'm pretty sure it's, it's free, right? Pivot? It is free, I yeah, think. Yeah, 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 it yeah. should be. Should be. So we are now on Electra, is that right? Electra. Electra. This looks like a thesis film. Potentially. Ooh, I like the painterly background. Hmm. 
Okay, gotta reuse the animation. Bro is bouncing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how advanced you are. There's always people reusing animation. They died. Rip. Oh. Rip. Oh my god. Here they are. Son of an angel. <laughs> It's very quiet. No, it just is very quiet. It's it's I like it's that half. It does have sound. Yeah, it is just very quiet. Who really wants that acorn? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, okay, nuts. Dude. Okay. okay, dude. So I'll 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 start off with this one. So I mean, immediately off the bat is like, for instance, like I think uh, like spacing out your frames just to kind of get like uh, the weight a little bit more. Uh, you know, like for instance, like here, right? Like. You need to have like uh, how, how would I explain this? So you need to this you everything's moving at a very constant rate. Yeah, right? it's linear. It's linear. It's like a linear in between. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> like for instance, think of um, the the exercise, the one that every animation student has to do. Uh, I think Noah can bring up a picture of it. The it's bouncing a, ball. A, the bouncing the ball. The bouncing right? ball. And if you look at the bouncing ball, what it does is as as the frames reach or like as the ball reaches the top of the, the curve, right? The frames get closer together. So that slows it down and then they get further apart and then it moves faster, right? So right here, this is just like, they're very evenly spaced. So it just kind of gives an A to B movement. It's a very like, um, it can be kind of planned. So you kind of, and then also like when it you hit something like this, you really want to have like, you know, the, maybe the trampoline go or like the, 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 it's a trampoline like the, regardless of how small the little guy is he should probably have some sort of like impact and bounce uh, and another example for for that kind of spacing that I'm talking about would be like here that also the head is moving on yeah, the head. different <laughs> uh, so your body I see, I'm seeing that you did okay so you're animating the head on ones but the body on two to, uh, on twos so it's like can't keep up it's like being tracked wrong. I was wondering about that. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing is like, I think a part of this might be rotoscoped. I'm realizing. Mm, it is. Yeah, it's definitely, because there was a part where they did the jump and if I you, was like, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. the front. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, even the thing about rotoscoping stuff is that like, Sometimes the, the exaggeration of like animation kind of gets like lost in the translation from rotoscoping. So like if I was animating this, like I would probably have the character when they reach the top, like like kind of hold that that uh, like maybe for like two frames or two two, two drawings up the up the top. Um, but here it like kind of the body just does this rather than like moving up a little bit more and then coming down, and then that would create a better um, bounce I think. Also. Another thing, the trampoline, I'm realizing that the trampoline is just going up and down. It's not actually like when I the impact is here, the trampoline should be like bending. Right? Yeah, at the lowest point. At the lowest point, basically. But it's it's bending after the jump, which it you know, it kinda does, but like it should, regardless of where it is, when he lands, you should be getting a big impact here, right? And that should be stretching it out. But um this is like this is Definitely, like, I, I can see the beginnings of, like, really, really, like, good stuff. And I, I, I hope you uh, continue to make some more cool shit. Um, yeah. I, I, I definitely I, continue making more absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. I mean, and this will teach you a lot by studying actual, like, reference video. Because, like, you've got, like, the extension here to, like, you know, the motion of going to grab here is really strong. Like, this is mm -hmm. cool. Um, so, like, yeah. yeah. The more you study video for your animation, uh, honestly, I think you'll you'll find ways to like uh, abbreviate that and sim simplify it and kind of make it more uh, animated and exaggerated. Okay, so we are now on uh, ACOLEC. A I, yeah, is that right? ACOLEC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think we actually have some. We have some three D. First three D. Which is, you know, like we. I said three D is fine. Uh, I mean, I, I'm I'm. I wouldn't consider oh, myself a total three D animation uh, animator, but uh, I can, you know. Animation fundamentals, they they, they all translate. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, that's a cool model. Did they make ooh. this? What is, is this character from something or did they make ooh. this? This is kind of cool. Ah! Whoa, oh, dude, that's cool. I like that squash and stretch. Yeah, I noticed that. I was about I to gotta, say. I gotta, 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 gotta. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so if we look at this, I think the model stretches, doesn't it? 
I think so. It does. Yeah, it does. a little yes, snap absolutely. out. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful. That's that's, cool. that's really good. That's Squashy very scratch fun. is very, very fun. fun. Um, do you guys want to say anything about this? Uh, could you just play it again? Yeah, um, sure. Of course, of course. It's a model I found it, under it. in chat. Okay, it's a model I found. It's really mm. cool. You did a good job. With I see. It. I see. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I think the one note I'd say is mm -hmm. probably you could play around with like the weightiness, especially yeah. with the big like mechanical arms, right? Yeah. Um, you could really try and exaggerate that to like mm -hmm. really have that like heavy feeling. Like, yeah. Because right now it just feels kind of like you know they're kind of going crazy with the hands at some points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you said. So, like the, the if, if you're lifting the hand, like the shoulder should you know. Mm -hmm. You meeting, can really get that. Like, mm -hmm. lead, I wish you could show it, but like. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The, so you like lift your shoulder and then and then it goes down and then it pops up, you know, like so you can really mm -hmm. show the weight of the, the, the hand. And if you can kind mm -hmm. of get that through by like leading the motion and maybe like the, the shoulder just to kind for of sure, for sure. raise that, like it, it'll, it'll really add to the weight. Um, but not, not enough that you wouldn't be able to move, but enough that you can show there's a little bit more mm -hmm. weight to her forearm. Awesome. Uh, mm. Tele, you got anything? Be yes. a little bit more conscious about the arcs. Because uh, do you, you are that having that just for people to do. Oh know. yeah. With easing and arcs, those are like the two most important things that you can really consider in animation mm -hmm. because it has to do with momentum and energy, right? So with easing, if I move something in a straight line, it's going to be like, okay, slow, and then it's going to pick up and then it's going to slow down, right? But the, the concept of arcs is it's when I apply this easing into a different axis, right? Mm -hmm. So if I start to like do this, like easing like that in this way, What's going to happen is if I like, ah, this goes here, this goes here. And then like, you know, it's like going to make a curve that arcs in a way. Yeah. Right. So when you're dealing with weighty things and when you're dealing with tweens, especially in 3D animation, uh, you'll be tempted to make a pose mm -hmm. and then you'll be tempted to like just make another key pose yep. like that. And then you'll be like, OK, let the computer do the interpolation and then I'll like move it. I'll move the pose back over that way. Right. So what will end up happening is that it just does like a er, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Like it does a very, even if it's smooth, like it slows in and slows out into the pose, like we'll call this A, B, and then C. Even if it is eased correctly, the curve shouldn't be a straight er, er. It needs to be like a ew, yep. right? So you have to be careful with that. and. If possible, there are ways to like have spline pathing in 3D, or you can also just add like a secondary keyframe here where to you can like, yeah, yeah, bend it out a little bit more so that you're not only like having those three, three poses, mm -hmm. but you're also having like a few poses to make sure that the computer gives you that arc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, anyway, that's great about that's that. Yeah, yeah. Um, or you could do what I do instead of using any interpolation, just do it all by hand and then step it, make it the entire thing step. Yeah. Which is a crazy person yeah. thing. Uh, Steve MWS. Okay, let me bring this Steve up. Muse. Steve Muse. Oh, uh, they got a strong goodness. jawline. Um, <laughs> that little fella. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, it's a vine sauce uh, animated. <laughs> that little fella. Steve. Oh. <laughs> Luigi, do you ever check your temperature? Oh, of course I do, Mario. <laughs> no, I'm talking about with a rectal thermometer, Luigi. That's the most accurate way to see if you have no. a fever. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> really? That's very interesting, Mario. Would you like to demonstrate? <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> I definitely would not. <laughs> Vinny, which Pikmin feels the best up your... <laughs> do not clip that. Wow, oh gosh, that's cool. I love it. it also, was... reminds me of like uh, 20, I'd say like 2000, 2005, 2006 Newgrounds. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, this is For like sure. very popularized, like you know, Ren and Stimpy, never on model, always different new drawings for every face. Like, love that kind of stuff. I'm a huge fan of it, huge fan of that kind of stuff. Um, a little bit of chatter, like, yeah, I agree, I agree. Okay, guys, uh, anything else before we move on to the new one? Uh, uh, I think nope. my We're only going? note would be for, like, the 
the key poses, like yeah. the, I feel like the in betweens, the timing or like the spacing of the poses could be slightly mm -hmm. like retimed. Maybe if you go by frame by frame by like with some of these uh, things, like they they have a great idea mm -hmm. on how to go about it. I think though maybe just a few extra in betweens, maybe towards the end would like yeah. help so much, you know. Like a bounce in the nose here. Would be really cool. Like I feel like some of yeah. the, the movements like, are a bit like too fast, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like for instance, if we went here, so you go up, down. And then overshoot. You over, you have the nose drag behind, but if you had a frame, extra frame here where it went down, and then the exactly. nose popped back up, mm -hmm. like that would be like actually really it it would add to the grossness of it because it would make him look like wet and kind of like squishy. And I think oh. that that would <laughs> maybe go over quite well with what you're aiming for. Okay, uh, Moto. One is Moto Ginji. Moto, Moto Ginji. Is it playing? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Yes. Oh, we got some 3D. Oh, oh this yeah. looks. Some Ooh. Cool. SFM? Oh. Is it SFM? I can't tell. Whoa. Oh, this staging is really cool. Yeah, it yeah. is. The shots are really cool. <gasps> the animation's so good. Yeah, this is awesome. Ooh. Greetings. Are you in need of assistance? No, not really. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, this is this awesome. This is super cool. It's like so well planned out. Like Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Yeah. Dude, I'll be honest. I'm seeing this robot and shooting at it. I'm like, God, I want to play Helldivers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh maybe cool. Maybe <laughs> Dude. Yeah, this is so good. Oh. Oh, the screaming Dude, face. Dude, the visor cool. animation's like, how do you even go about doing that? Oh. Just the idea that it's a polite robot that's trying to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. Yeah. Honestly, no. if I saw that coming, a... I would turn on the stove and I'd blow the house <laughs> up. <laughs> turn on the stove and just light it. Yeah. Holy. Damn, that, that was, was so cool. cool that was really as cool. hell. Dude, what the dude. heck? Okay, that, I don't really know if I got much notes for this. The staging was really cool. The action was awesome. You wanted your if you, your mm. intent was to make a badass action film or short, like dude, the shot where he like caught the gun and start and just start blasting into his hand, that was so mm -hmm. fucking sick. I yeah. do have um something that might be able to help, and you don't have to listen to this particular piece of advice, um, but it is something that. You know, you might be able to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is to think of the rhythm of action. For every punch, every kick, every like swing, there is a sound to it. There is a rhythm to it. So if you can like think of making interesting rhythms and have it not too, you know, not what's it called, not too monotone or uniform, because I'm noticing that a lot of the actions are like just sort of like a bum, 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 what. Bum, bum, but it's like almost, it's almost predictable by the rhythm that it has, right? So something that I would definitely say is think of interesting rhythms um, that you can play with and try to sync like the punches and kicks and everything into interesting rhythms. Does that make sense? I, I understand what you mean. You're starting to say that bum, bum, bum. You're like, bum, 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 You know, like, just, are you saying, like, just yeah, keep it, exactly. keep it, like, make it varying and interesting. It's like, what, like, for, uh -huh. remember the, um, the only scene in John Wick 2 that I even remember is the one where he's in the nightclub and he's shooting the, the silencer, the gun to the, the beat of the music. Mm -hmm. Like that, oh, yeah. such a cool action sequence. Yeah, but yeah. definitely do consider that this is entirely optional. You can discard this advice or even tool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just something that you can use to increase the interest of your actions is yeah. to have an interesting rhythm. Just like, don't have it constantly like, dun, 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 but have it more like, dun, 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 
dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know? So this is J draws art. Okay, J draws art. Let's see your art. Let us see. Oh, oh trust me, being there, that was oh. my teens. Oh, it's not acne? Oh, they're actually in the hospital? No, I didn't go to hospital. Dude, right. <laughs> I, I oh, thought oh, they were just looking in the mirror. <laughs> Cancelled. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Ooh. I liked that deformation Ooh. there of the face. That was really yeah, cool. that's some cool animation. <laughs> it's a meme yeah, reference. Yeah, yeah. Peppa Silvia. It's like a... It's symbolic. symbolic. We're inside someone's head. Wait, is, 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 do you think this is symbolic? This is a mental health thing? Oh, they're all the same person. And the background's a brain. And the oh, one that true. moves the time floors is the disease. This is pink color. Whoa. This is depression. I don't know. I think it, no, I don't think it's literally depression. No, I don't I think, think it is either. Disease. Oh, it's probably, oh yeah, I think this actually <laughs> might be a metaphor for oh, it's like a brain, brain like, or brain, <laughs> like oh, actual really disease. That's like, that was actually really cool. That sequence is sick. I'm going back to that to want, I want to look at that sequence. That was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. What could, I hope you are okay. Yeah, I what hope you're well. Media literate. Dude, I at first I genuinely thought it was a kid looking in the mirror being like, I got pimples. And then it like backs out. I was like, ah, being <laughs> there. And then backs out in their hospital for like a terminal illness. And I'm like, haven't oh. been there. Shit. <laughs> that transformation is really cool though. Wow. It's so cool. Yeah, you really like. The drama, the wow. change in tone with the different colors. Yeah, yeah. The lighting, it's cool. It's really cool. I like the symbolism that everything was blue, but the spots were pink, mm -hmm. and then pink took over entirely. This is so good. Th oh, wait, oh. yeah, this bit, the noodle arms, dude, you totally killed. See, well, this yeah, is what we're talking about there. when we're talking about like some cool arcs. Like, look at that. That is a cool pose. Yep. You just see those whippy noodle arms. I love whippy noodle arms. Yeah, one of my favorite very things to good. animate. Yeah, cool. See, this is what I mean about the the, um, the storyboarding thing earlier. Yeah, you see yeah. how the, the the arm reaching up into the SE shapes? Mm -hmm. The character that the arm was going to grab was exactly where the hand used to be in the last shot. Yeah, you're right. That's a good point. So that is a good execution of that particular um, yeah. principle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did mention that. That is that is very that's a very good example. That's awesome. Yeah, love this one. This one was amazing. Great work, dude. Wow, so cool. Fantastic. Waldo Miles Wide. Okay. Mr. Miller. Okay, hold on. Give me one sec. This auto plays. Um, Kobayashi's Long Evening. Isn't this a Dragon Maid girl? Yeah. I think so. Yo! No. Yeah! I like women. Mr. Miller. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what just happened at the end? I like blinked and it just like looped. It, I, it's, it, uh, I heard an explosion. They oh, fell over and passed out. passed out. They passed out, I guess. Again, so, again, again, again. Yippee! Playing it again. Need some company? No. I like women. Mr. Miller. Oh, bro just, bro just died. I, I guess they died. Yeah. Um, okay. Thoughts? I have one piece of advice for everyone. Mm -hmm. All of that have been before and all that are in front. Yes. And everyone. Yes. Do not free transform your animations. It yes. is lazy. Mm -hmm. It is. It, it just. It, 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 don't. Don't. Don't do it. Redraw stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally did that last night. <laughs> it's good practice. It's I, good I, practice. I, my, if you look at the, uh, the the my new running emote, I, I got lazy and I because I, it's so small, no one can tell. <laughs> I'm going to look at it and I'm going to reprimand you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, no. That's that's okay. That one's fine. Here's what I mean by uh, yeah. free transform, right? Yep, yep, yep. This is good. fine. Rotation's fine. Movement's fine. Squish. It's fine as long as you keep the, the the proportion fine. So like if he stretches out, he becomes thinner. Uh, if he stretches down, he becomes flatter. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fine. 
This. Do not do this. Don't. Don't do this. Don't don't couple this with this. Don't do this with that. No, just don't shear. Shear yeah. is bad. Mm -hmm. You know why it's bad? Because people's craniums, people's heads are circles. The moment you do this, guess what happens? Oh, oh no! Yeah. My brains! Oh you shit! Oh, no. I mean, the only it's, time I could think like is like, like, uh, like a weird smear, maybe, but like, yeah, not for like motion. Here's another thing. Um, if you have a cylinder, like like cylinders are super common for everything, right? If you were to do this, right, you're messing up yep. the perspective, yep. and it just does not look good. Uh, especially if you're doing it like in in like coupling it with other stuff, like you know you have an actual person, right? Yeah. You're just like that, right? Mm -hmm. So if I have a person, right, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move around. Move, oh, let me just. I'm gonna move it around and I'm gonna share it around. It's like, okay, no, it just doesn't yeah. work. It does not work. It, it not, makes it look not like a good. cardboard cutout that's being like bent and exactly, you know, exactly. It, it ruins so the, the vanishing point. It ruins everything. Yeah, yeah. So it's fine to squash and stretch. It's fine to rotate. Fine to move it around if yep. you want to save yep. effort. But do not, please, for the love of God, do not shear it. Tim Clavier. Okay, uh, bringing it up. So might be some flashing imagery if that's something you're sensitive to. Just be careful. Oh, cool background. Very stylized. That is really cool. Ooh, I like the drawing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. Main character. Main character with Sonic hair. Yo, oh, what is I the manga? Man, we going to the manga? Oh, Holy. shit. The screen. Oh, tones. he's got the Kasune! K Kurama, hello. Yeah, oh my <laughs> lord. It would have been funny so if he cool. got it. That was so missed. cool. My third strike in a row. I love the hey, art hey. style. Mm. This sounds like fun. Yeah, I'm digging these designs. Yeah, why not? I am digging. Uh, fine, but absolutely no tricks. Got it? <laughs> Whatever you this say. cloak guy is gonna get cooked. I have a feeling. I won't lie. This guy's. I feel like this guy's a fraud. I won't lie. Yeah, you think he's all? He's all BS. If this, if this guy strikes, it's gonna be embarrassing. But I feel like Yo, that's a cool animation. animation. Yo, no, no. that's cool. That bow's like, cool. Beyblade, like hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fraud. I knew it. it was Damn. Fraud. All of that for two oh, missing up. pins, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hood back on because I'm so cool. He's pretty cool. Ugh. What? Everyone's watching them? That's not like the everyone feels like reaction. it is in the bowling range. They're like, everyone's watching me. <laughs> in reality, no one, no yeah. one even notices that you're yeah. there. No one notices. Yo, what is this? Anxiety! Oh, oh anxiety. I mean... I, I... Oh, look at him, he's so cute! <laughs> cute drawing. Power of friendship. The power of your friends believing in you. Now she's gonna win. Yo! What Yo! Is this? Oh, yeah, this is me. This is me when I ball. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, Shenron! Why like oh. freaking the spirits, dude! Holy! I like the uh, painterly effects. Cool. The watercolor effect, yeah. Wow! I knew it. <laughs> that counts. It got all of them. Yeah! Yippee! Fuck this bowling place. We hated it. <laughs> knocked all the pins down. That was awesome. That's that great. Fun. That's, That's very cool. fun. That's very fun. Oh my god, a little anime oh, ending! We wow. got the ED, no way. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, they got a whole ass anime ending. That's so that's so cute. Wow. What do we I think, guys? So cute. Sir, appreciation for the many people who have supported me these past years and made possible this production. I love you all. Oh, that's really that's cute. Nice. That's nice. Oh, great job, Tim. That's a cool Good passion job. project. I love that. Excellent work. Now, what do we Excellent think, guys? Work. What, what are, what's our, what's our thoughts? I really like that whole run. That was cool. Yeah. 
this was cool. It's like very, um, I don't know. I think Beyblade. they did a real, like this isn't really animation, but I think they did a really good job matching the music to the characters. Like each yeah, time yeah, they yeah, like for swapped. sure, for sure. Um, any other thoughts, guys? Keep going. Yep. I feel like anything that yeah. I could say, you will learn it with experience. That's true. Because what you have right here is really good. You had the determination to make all of this. You sketched it, cleaned it up, colored it, mm -hmm. put a story together. Uh, anything else, you're just going to get better at naturally if you keep doing this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, time and practice, it's its going to really pay off. You got a strong foundation here. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Bus. Bus. I'm bussing. <laughs> the sounds! What? That's <laughs> the character? <laughs> I did not expect that. That's awesome. <laughs> that is. Oh, that's funny. That was good. That was, <laughs> that's so funny. I like that. Okay, I like it. It's good, good bit, good bit. I also like that at the beginning. I was like, "What's the character?" Because you yeah, couldn't I tell. was like, "Is this like a Tomodachi or something?" The the the, the, the bit is all the time. Is like if you transfer. Yeah, the is actually really nicely done. Yeah, like, so let's see the that volume of it. Yeah, pretty yeah, well. that's cool. You go frame by frame. Also, once again, intent here is humor, and it's funny. So you killed it. Yep, <laughs> killed it absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Next one is the funny skeleton. Funny skeleton man. Okay, it looks horror, like horror, another horror, Five horror. Nights. Horror, 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 horror. Peter Griffin shoots Freddy Fazbear in the face 73 times, does a backflip, and... F um, well, I'll be counting. Title. All right, start counting, I chat. look forward to this. Oh, No, God, no, that no is... notes. No, yeah, there's no, no, no notes. No notes, <laughs> no perfect. Notes, no notes. Oh, it's, uh, no, it's Bird. Oh, fuck. All right, hold on. Bird, you boy. Bird submitted something. All right, here it is. Here it is. Hey, dude, you think I could borrow, like, 20 bucks? Oh, yeah, dude, no problem. I mean, let me just grab my wallet here. Let's see here. Um, one, two. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Five, six, <laughs> seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, <laughs> seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> oh, Buck Fumble! Dude. I love Buck Fumble. No Dude. notes. Perfect. Perfect. No notes. It's perfect. Perfection. It's perfect. Perfection. It goes on the shelf. It goes on the shelf. It goes on it the shelf. shelf with the shrimp fried rice. Oh, I like the backgrounds a lot. Yeah, very nice background. Res? Oh, it's just it was buffering weird. Oh, it just loaded, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I finished it. It's okay. Is it omelet? Yo, Ghibli Bro, food? It's making me hungry, dude. I'm getting food <laughs> after this. Mm, oh, I like that's that. That's awesome. Game. That's really cute. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, I have a tip. Yeah, sure. What's your tip, Tele? My tip is uh, how to draw hands quickly in a mm -hmm. sketch mode for your animations. Is, it, uh, is this a Discord? Yes, this is a Discord. Is Discord is up. Discord. Discord, though. Okay. Discord. So the first thing you want to do is you want to consider that the arm is like a cylinder. So in this case, I'm having like this sort of shape here going on. Mm -hmm. And then you want to have one mass. You want to have a mass for the thumb and the thumb. Then you're going to have all the three fingers at the front as one single mass and then the pinky as another mass. Mm -hmm. This is a very quick, effective way to build hands that can transfer mm -hmm. later on into more refined sketches if you want to you know, like add more details. Yes. But this is an excellent way for you to, you know, just plan out hand animation is yep. just have those two masses of the thumb and the flesh of the hand. 
the three fingers, and then the like fingers. this. Yep. So fast. Shish is so fast. Just oh my god. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh. Look at this one. This is Ghost Gusty B. Ooh. She's a flan. Oh. Spin her pizza? Cute. It looks like a makeshift plushie or something. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Good compositing there. Dude. Pokemon? Dude. Sonic! <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, this is how you get your mileage out of your reused animation, guys. You just gotta, exactly. you just gotta keep putting it in. I um, have a cover. Yeah. I have a cover. I have a cover. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my god. Okay, yeah. so I need you to tune into my stream. Yes, please. For this. End us out on something amazing. I'm scared of your I... stream, dude. I won't mind. Let me mind. bring it up. Let me bring it up. Give us something to end out the video on, Delay. Okay, so when you have something spinning, mm -hmm. let's say, for example, I'm going to say my model is just something sitting, right? For simplification, we'll just say that it is this, right? It's just an axis and it's the thing that's spinning. When it spins, it's going to take an elliptical shape, right? It's just going to go around an ellipse. When you are spinning it at the same velocity, like it's going around at the same, you know, same distance every frame, um, yep. there's something that you have to take care of, is that it's going to spend more frames here, right? Oh. And then it goes around like this. So there are more frames that it's around the edge then there are frames that are around the center. We'll press play and I'll show that I'm a fraud. Wow, that looks so nice. Like I totally Dude, see there what we you go. Mean. That's a great spin. So see, when you yeah. slow it down on the at edges, the tips here, yeah, at the edges, it'll look much better. In fact, we can even play with the timing here the of the part of the of the the circle that you're you're slowing. Yeah, so down. I'm things make sense. Yeah. I'm gonna make the, uh, the the part where it's facing us in a way, just like one frame, and I'm gonna make these parts like two frames. And let's take a look at that. So now it feels even smoother. Awesome. Yeah, that's, so yeah, that's amazing, my tip dude. for turnarounds. Love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, guys, uh, we're gonna hopefully get to do want to do these again soon. So. Um, uh, if we have scheduled a, a time to do it, Noah put this in. There's the when we're gonna be doing it again next. We just need to talk. Um, here, we're doing it here. This is the time. Come on by. Uh, we got a lot of animations we want to go through because um, you know this is something I'd like to do more regularly because uh, I think it's really fun to spotlight some animation straight from uh, the people who are making it. So um, yeah, guys, uh, Junie, Tele, thank you once again for coming and joining me oh, yeah. on this. This was very fun. Um, I hope we can do this thank again. Thanks so much for having us. Um, but yeah. Thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, yeah, see you again in the, the next video. All right, bye guys.